when the recording is started. So welcome to Seabor Interim. Um, I posted a link to the Etherpad where the agenda is, and yeah, and we need an attendee list as well. Um, the first point on the agenda is a status update for Seabor. So, Karsten. So you want me to talk? Yeah. When? How? What's going on? Yeah. I so... mean, I know what's going on. I saw. I saw Michael's uh, working group last call review. Yeah. Thank you, Michael, for that. But maybe you can detail. Yeah, that, that that was very useful. Getting some of the the things that uh, seem to be obvious to the authors, to the surface again. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's uh, really useful. Um, so th there have been a couple of uh, small pull requests and uh, there's also one, one outstanding issue that I didn't manage to uh, convert into a pull request uh, before this uh, meeting. And there there is one other issue, another small issue that uh, probably can be closed, but uh, where we need to verify uh, that. So in the asymptotic uh, curve, uh, we are getting very, very uh, close to the axis, I think. Oh, the axis. <laughs> Is there anything we want to discuss by voice right now? Well, uh, when if uh, Michael uh, wants to say something about the pages of email I sent to him 15 minutes ago, um, that would be useful. I haven't read yesterday's email yet, so I don't know about today. Um, I haven't read that yet, so thank you for the, that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I, I guess um, I think you're in the right direction based on my, what you said so far. Yeah, so my, my assumption would be that, that we uh, continue this uh, back and forth uh, a little more, but we, we essentially should be done by the end of the week uh, together with the other items uh, that are on the issue list. And uh, the, the one thing that is uh, not explicit as an issue uh, that we need to put in a little bit of work uh, this week is the changes from 7049 uh, section in the appendix. So th there are several ways of handling that. Uh, one is to just add and to be deleted by ROC editor uh, mark on it. And the, the second approach is to uh, actually edit it so it, it is useful uh, for people who are reading this and know 7049 and know what, what uh, why this document is uh, rearranged so much. Um, we currently have a little bit of that in the last uh, paragraph of the uh, introduction, and um, Michael already proposed to expand this. Uh, I think actually that would be material, what Michael proposed, uh, that uh, could be uh, used in the uh, appendix. And that's a required section for this document. That's a? That is a required section for this document. There is you a delete it. Yeah. You must have that section in this document. Okay, it says who? Uh, uh, the IESG. Oh, okay. So that uh, makes things easy. So uh, we just have to do the work.
Okay, so um, you were aiming to get an updated version end of this week? Yes. Okay. Yeah, then I, I guess uh, we'll have to uh, take a look at the diff from the previous version and see um, how to move forward. I just wanted to mention that uh, I I have started like I have done the shepherd review. Just um, yeah, now I will need to look at this um, um, this next update to 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 finish it. But it shouldn't take long anyway. Okay, so the next point on the agenda was the unknown tag conclusion. Um, Let's see, do we need to say anything about this? Well, I made a very small change in, in pull request 187. But actually, reading all the discussion at the end, I, I didn't think we actually needed to change anything. This was mostly just reaffirming within the group that that we actually have what we want. Yes. And uh, I guess we are waiting. Um, yeah, no, that's that's right. It's the next point. Okay, uh, yeah, we have discussed Michael's review. So you said that there is uh, there has been a bunch of pull requests that have been merged. And uh, um, yeah, just making sure that Michael is also keeping track of that. So he's satisfied with the, um, how the issues he brought up are dealt with. So, so just to, on that, my, my understanding is um, like the, the way I've been phrasing it um, is if you put a tag in in uh, Cbor, you really need to mean it. You really are expecting everybody to pay attention to it. You, you don't just put them in because they're nice to nice to be there. You really, and if you don't understand it, you probably need, you probably should be failing. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, have you seen the 187, Lawrence? The pull request? Uh, no, I haven't. I will. I'll look at it right now. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, on the agenda, otherwise, I put the Seaboard Notable Tags document um, that Karsten submitted. Thank you, Karsten. Um, do you want to maybe introduce or just remind what what this was for? Yes. And, yeah, go ahead. So I've been banning about this document for, for a couple of years now that, that we should uh, have it. And uh, the, the, this uh, got urgent now because uh, we needed a repository for the uh, invalid tag. Actually, we wouldn't have needed it. It was uh, not specification required. It was just uh, first come, first served. Uh, but of course, it makes much more sense to, to actually have a document there. And uh, also, that um, is now being referenced by uh, CBOBIS. Um, now, th th there are several questions here. Um, one is, um, is this a document the, the working group is somehow interested in? Uh, right now, it's more of the style, um, 
I, I went ahead and, and looked at the registered tags and, and wrote a little bit of commentary about them. And I'm not even done. I have only done about half the work uh, yet. So it's more a personal perspective. Do we want to keep it that way as a personal perspective? And working group time on that? Um, I think that that's uh, a question we, we don't have to answer now, but that, that at some point uh, we, we want to answer. And uh, if we actually do want to spend working group time on it, uh, then the question is, do we maybe want to adopt a version of this document, maybe not the current one because there are so many holes in it, uh, a version of this document in time for the reference uh, in CWABIS 2 point to a working group draft uh, instead of a personal draft. But that, that's only a question that comes up if we decide we want to spend working group time on this. Um, so the, there is no need for this draft to be, ever become an RFC, right? Like we said that. Um, right, but then, then I think uh, I would probably uh, submit it to the independent uh, stream at some point uh, because it's just handy to to have it available from the same sources from which you get uh, mm -hmm. seventy forty nine or its successor. Uh, with my chair hat off, I think it would be nice to have this adopted by the working group. Personally, I think that uh, it would make sense. But, uh, what? Any other opinion? So who has read? This document. Um, I have not yet read the document, but I'm tend to be of the same opinion as Francesca that it makes sense to be a working group document. There is the risk that um, if we want to publish it as a working group document, um, like when, when is the moment that we stop? And we publish it because it's um, um, when do we say okay this is a good amount of tags that is good to have uh, published September 2023 <laughs> why that date because that will be 10 years of SIBO uh -huh. okay so <laughs> you're you're putting a, a time limit yeah, clearly. I mean, we, we, we will get new tags all the time. And, and uh, that means if, if they are notable, this means they, they, they will lead to an update uh, of this uh, document. And it doesn't have to be 10 years. Uh, I think it was September 2013, if I remember that correctly. Um, so we, we don't need to have a time limit. It doesn't have to be uh, 10 years. Uh, from now, but if you ask for a time limit, then I would say in December, uh, September, uh, 2023. So, um, from a chair point of view, this is not really in the chart there, right? I would have to reread the charter very closely to find an answer to that question. I mean, that's not uh, a problem, obviously, but um, if the working group agrees that it makes sense to adopt this, this document. But it would require some work there. We would to have to negotiate with our responsible lady, yes. Yes, yeah. So this is saying, Carsten, do you see uh, other candidates? that you uh, have a feeling that might come into scope before some vital point in time? <laughs> or, or is this relatively complete? Well, it's almost complete now uh, because it reflects the content of the uh, registry minus one tag 
where the author of the tag replied to me, he doesn't quite understand what it means either. Um, so um, I thought we, we, we might want to clarify that before we actually put it into this uh, document. Uh, but of course, new tags are registered all the time. So it will get incomplete again, might get incomplete because we don't get permission by some of the authors to actually include text about it. Um, but it, it's quite close to being complete at the moment. But it doesn't mean all the work has been done. <laughs> okay, so I think that what we can say is to um, um, now we started the discussion, and it would be great to have more people in the working group take a look at the draft and and see uh, if they think it would be a, a valid addition as a working group document, and me and Jim can. Um, check with Barry or start talking to him um, to see if it was to be adopted. Um, how would we go about that? Does that sound good, Kassen? Perfect. Great. Okay, and this was my last point that I wanted to discuss today. So any other business or uh, any other point? Yeah, I would have one point from the trenches. Um, right now, uh, we are finishing the SDF, the simple definition format in uh, 1DM. And uh, the 1DM uh, data model format uses elements of uh, JSON schema org's proposal uh, for its definition, uh, for, for the, the data model parts of, of the model definitions uh, that will be defined by that uh, language. Uh, so that, that's not something that will uh, change, at least it will not change soon. Uh, but um, I have managed to, to get them interested in using uh, CDDL as the language that actually describes F SDF itself. Um, so uh, if you go into my GitHub repository, github.com slash cabo slash SDF, simple definition format, uh, then you can see a draft uh, for the language uh, specification. So that, that has two implications. First of all, it's nice to, to see that there is some interest in CDDL there. Uh, second, uh, I had to write a CDDL to a JSON schema org uh, translator to, to make this uh, palatable uh, for everybody. Um, so uh, th that is right now just sufficient to do the SDF uh, syntax, but it might get better at that. Uh, so at some point it will be easier to do uh, documents like the IODEF uh, JSON definition, which currently has two appendices, uh, nobody of which nobody knows how, how close they are to each other, the one in CDDL and one, one in JSON schema org uh, form. Um, but the, the other, uh, maybe more important observation is um, we're going to, to ask IETF whether they want to be the home for standardization of that language. And uh, since that language uses uh, some elements of, of JSON schema org, we will probably get a discussion uh, whether um, JSON schema org itself May might be something that, that the IETF uh, wants to standardize. And uh, yeah, you probably can guess that, that I have a personal opinion on that, but not really a strong opinion. Um, uh, but it, it's something that will be coming up. Um, so possible outcomes might be uh, the IETF doesn't want to touch SDF because that carries the JSON schema org 
discussion with it, and we don't want to have that discussion. Um, or maybe uh, we we get to a position where we say, okay, SDF uses some elements from JSON schema org, uh, but actually defines them properly, so we know what they mean, um, and and leave the rest of JSON schema org uh, for itself. Or it could mean that we actually pick up JSON schema org um, as as work for the IGF that is. Uh, done together with or separate from the SDF work. So that, that's really pretty strategic stuff I'm talking about right now, but I think it would be a good thing to keep that in mind and, and start thinking about what we want to uh, do here. So th there, there are other JSON-related things going on. So there is now a W3C schema variant that does JSON. I haven't looked at that thing. Um, th there are a couple of JSON schema org like things um, going on right now. For instance, th there is an, uh, a draft in the independent RFC, uh, independent submissions RFC editor queue that, that does something similar, but uh, considerably simpler. Um, Microsoft DTDL has something that is almost but not entirely unlike JSON schema, um, and so on and so on. So it's an interesting landscape, and uh, given that we have CDDL, we 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 are kind of uh, forced to be part of that landscape and need to to watch this closely. Thank you. Interesting. Yeah, and if you ever need uh, the CDDA to JSON schema org uh, converter for some project like IODEF, uh, please tell me about it, and I will fix the, my converter to be good enough for your application. That's a promise. Anything else? Okay, it, quite short meeting today, but if uh, there is nothing else, I think we can close the meeting here. Um, think if we need to the upcoming meetings so we are meeting in two weeks the 3rd of June and also we will be starting the uh, preparation for ITF 108 that will include uh, drafting the agenda and everything. So you will see that in the mailing list, please. Uh, uh, yeah, answer me if you want to add something to the agenda. So we for, will June, that. for June 3rd, I would uh, propose uh, discussing the ABNF um, addition to CDDL. So the, the, the work is half done. I had to do the work because I needed an ABNF to regex converter, uh, which I now have. Uh, and th th from there, it's it's almost trivial to to get full ABNF support in uh, the CDL tool. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's maybe something we want to discuss in two weeks. Yeah, we we need to restart a discussion on CDDL. Um, I was focusing on Cbor bis because I did want to put all effort into uh, shipping it to ISG or yeah, but um, but yes, we need to bring this uh, to the interims as well. So let's add it to next week agenda.
for in two weeks agenda, next meeting. Sounds good. Great. Okay, if nothing else, then we can close the meeting. Thank you for calling in. Talk to you in two weeks. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.